Men called me the spider long before I came to Westeros. As a young thief in Pantos, I seemed to have eight hands, each dipped into a stranger's pocket. But the other thieves didn't appreciate my skill, and they had size and strength that I couldn't match. When they discovered why, I was beaten and told that a eunuch boy doesn't belong in the streets, but in the brothels, as any slaver would know. I managed to escape them, and took to sleeping in the sores by day and prowling the rooftops by night. Barely one step ahead of starvation, much less slavery. Then I met Illyria Mapatis. He was a bravo who lived by his sword, but his mind was sharper than his blade. I proposed an arrangement. I would spy on lesser thieves and steal their takings. Illyria would offer help to the thieves' victims, promising to recover their valuables for a fee. Soon, every honest man knew to come to Illyria, whilst the city's cut purses sought me, half to sell me what they had stolen, and the other half to slit my throat. Sadly for them, Illyrio needed my throat more than he needed theirs. Most thieves, like most men, are fools who think no further than turning a knight's plunder into wine. Luckily, as the other thieves had reminded me, I was not a man. Nor were those I hired with the gold we earned. I chose the smallest orphan boys and girls, the ones who were as quick and quiet as me, and taught them to climb walls and slip down chimneys. My little birds left the shiny trinkets for common thieves, and instead stole letters, ledgers, and charts. Secrets are worth far more than silver or sapphires. Later, I taught my little birds to read the letters themselves and leave them where they lay, so no one would know of our intrusion. Illyrio and I grew so rich that Illyria wed a princess of Pentos, whilst whispers of my talents reached the ears of a very anxious king across the narrow sea, who did not trust his son, nor his wife, nor his hand. Nor should he have, as I told him once I arrived and raised more little birds. They thought it the most amazing game to discover all the secret tunnels through the Red Keep and listen to all the whispered secrets from within the castle walls. I often wonder what became of my little birds once I left King's Landing. Most likely they returned to Flea Bottom, or, worse, grew up. One day I'll hear their song again. Until then, well, the world never lacks for orphans. Little birds sing in the west, and little birds sing in the east, and a harpy flies into a spider's web. <laughs>